Hey everybody, Cameron here for the Wolf One Nation, and today we're doing another vlog with the McDonald's conspiracy theory. Blah blah. I can spit out my words. Wolf One. So I believe McDonald's to be a huge conspiracy theory. Why? Well, let's think about it this way. Have you ever had like a really busy day where you gotta do a bunch of stuff? Let's say you gotta go to grocery shopping, you gotta uh, get your oil changed, you gotta get the dog groomed, uh -huh. and you've gotta um, get a haircut. Okay? So this is what you do. You drive your car to some giant parking lot, drop off your car to get your oil changed, walk over to the grocery store, get your groceries, take them back to your car and sneak them in because if they're not looking you can do that, I've tried. And then go get your dog groomed, then while you're getting your dog groomed, get a haircut and get all your stuff done. But there's a thing about doing that. Normally about halfway through doing all that, you're thinking, hmm, I'm hungry, I'm gonna get some food. So you go to McDonald's. You get McDonald's, all of a sudden that trip of going and getting groceries, getting the dog groomed, getting a haircut, just turns into uh, you know, I'll just maybe get more food and then I'll just go hang out at the car dealership and just look at cars I can't get. So you have all that stuff you could have done and you don't because McDonald's will slowly slow your brain. Like I've been stopped by McDonald's. Like I, I, I get McDonald's all the time. I eat it and then I do nothing. I, uh, I have all these plans throughout the day, and I do I do nothing. I just I just hang out. That that's what my day becomes. It's a conspiracy. McDonald's will make you do nothing. So my theory, conspiracy. It's not well thought out. All right. So second part of the vlog today. Have you ever had a guy try to impress you? Not this this is towards the ladies. Uh, not saying that I'm going out and trying to impress guys or guys going out to impress me. Throwing that out there. I've had this problem before. Not going down that road again. Have you ever had a guy try to impress you and he just goes way too far and does way too many stupid things? Well, I had a great story told to me over the weekend. Do you want this? I had a great story told to me over the weekend about a guy who lit his armpit hair on fire to impress a girl. Now, he didn't, uh, well, he didn't literally just go, hey, baby, watch this. He was trying to light the girl's cigarette. And in some crazy way, it went from, Hey, let me light your cigarette to, hey, let me burn off all my armpit hair. Now, I don't know how long this guy's armpit hair was that it was just like flying out of his arm and was able to somehow get a lighter close enough to it. Like, literally, the guy burned all of it off. The photo I got was pretty hilarious. I was asked not to post it, but it's pretty darn funny. So if, uh, if I can unencrypt it, if I can figure out how to do that shenanigans, I'm going to post it on the Facebook page because it's funny. What's the furthest you've ever seen someone of the opposite sex go to try to impress you? How far has someone gone to try to impress you? Have you ever had someone light themselves on fire to impress you? I have not. I've done some pretty stupid things to impress women. Uh, really, really stupid things. And they've all failed. All of them. Um, most of the time you get a pity laugh and a, oh my god, I'm walking away from this guy. I think he might try to kill me. But anyways, guys, that's all I have to say today. McDonald's is a conspiracy. Don't eat there. And <laughs> everybody's crazy. Right, Allison? Right. All right. So, yeah, I'll be Cameron. This is the Wolf One Nation. You all some lovely people. Until next time, see ya. What are you thinking, huh? What are you thinking? Ah! Here, tire. Trip over your feet. Oh. I threw it into the trash. She is now trying to get it out of the trash. <laughs> she is now giving up. Oh, nope, it fell. There you go. All right.